Alrighty, Hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I am gonna show you guys how to use event handling with React. So say that you had this component and your component had some buttons on it. Of course, whenever the user clicked one of those buttons, you would wanna be able to handle that event or in other words, just do something, depending on what the button said. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do, AKA event handling. So in the upcoming tutorials, I'm gonna start making a very simple app to kind of demonstrate a bunch of stuff. And I think it's a little bit easier to see how all of these you know, concepts are put together in a simple project instead of just showing you guys a bunch of weird demos. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making kind of a sticky note app where the user can add new notes or delete or edit notes. And I don't know, they can write whatever notes they want, like walk the dog, um, have a note for their favorite movies, just pretty much a bunch of comments that they can edit, delete. I don't know, it's the first thing that popped into my head. So let's go ahead and make a new component and I'll name it comment. Now all this is gonna be is essentially a block that's gonna have some text on it, depending on whatever your comment is, and we'll have a button for editing it and another button for deleting it. So very simple. So react create class. All right. So of course, the very first thing I do whenever I make a component is no matter how many different features I want to add to it, no matter how interactive it's going to be, I just go ahead and I make the plain HTML and then I just add dummy data. So maybe this is a component that has a photo that changes all the time. Well, when I first make it, I'm just going to put in some image um, just some static image just to make sure that it works and is displayed how I want it to. So for render, remember this is just gonna be equal to a function and it's just gonna return some HTML. So I actually have a bunch of the CSS already styled. So you can style this however you want. Um, you know, this isn't really a CSS tutorial, but if you want the same styling as me, then go ahead in the first video, um, get that repo downloaded and the CSS file is right here. So there you go. But again, if you don't have the CSS, then just style it however you want it to look. So this entire thing is gonna be in a div. And I already made a style called comment container. So for the class name, you set this equal to comment container, just like that. Now that brings me to another point, and that is this right here. You can add um, attributes just like you would in normal HTML using JSX. However, the reason that we can't write class right here is because class is already a reserved keyword in JavaScript. A JavaScript class actually means something. So that's why in JSX, we have to write class name. So most of your other attributes are gonna be fine. Just write normal HTML. But sometimes if they clash with JavaScript, then that's what JSX did. And I'll keep a heads up in case I come across it again. But anyways, inside this comment, what we're gonna have is basically a div and two buttons. So the div is just going to be the text um, of whatever, whatever, and two buttons. All right, so this first button is just going to be for editing the comment, and this second one is just going to be for deleting. Actually, let me just go ahead and name that remove. All right, now I already styled these as well. So the text. It actually has a class name of pretty creative. Wait till you hear it, comment text. And all the styling does is it makes it a little bit bold and it adds some spacing between the text and the buttons. That's all. And um, these button classes, I already uh, styled these as well. So I made a class called button primary, which is blue. And another one that is red called button danger. So now our edit button is blue and our remove button is red. I thought that was kind of appropriate. All right, so what we want to happen is whenever the user clicks these buttons, then something happens. So before we can add an on-click attribute, we actually need to make functions because essentially we're gonna say whenever you click this, call a function in this component. Now we already have this function right here called render, and this is a function uh, responsible for drawing or displaying some HTML, but we can actually make our own custom functions and name them whatever we want. So I'm gonna make one called edit, and again, this is just equal to a function. Now, 
This can do whatever we want. Um, we can lock something out on the screen. We can just make some alert pop up. And for right now, keep things simple. We're just making an alert pop up that says editing comment. Now we're gonna make another function and eventually, um, whenever we call these functions, we're gonna be able to edit the comment and it's actually gonna delete it. But for right now, uh, I'll just say remove. We'll just make an alert pop up to show you guys that, hey, you can actually have event handling with your components. So right now we have these cool functions, an edit function and a remove function. And whenever you call them, they display a pop-up that says editing or removing comment, but we didn't link these buttons to these functions in any kind of way. So how do we do that? How do we say whenever we click this button to call this function or this function? Well, what you do is you actually add another on click attribute. Now this is going to be equal to this function. So whenever we click edit, it's gonna call on click, call this function. So how do you do that? Well, since this is a function from the same class, we just need to write this and then a dot separator and then the function name. So whenever we click the edit button, just call this classes or components edit function, just like that. Now the same thing with the remove, whenever you click the on or remove button, just go ahead and call this components remove function or method, I guess it's more technically called. So there you go. And now we actually need to render this. So let me clean this up so it's nice and neat for future tutorials. All right, so I'm taking all these comments and I'm surrounding them inside a board. And all this board is is some styling to give it a nice light blue background, as you guys can see right here. So whenever I wanna make a new comment, then all I have to write is comment just like that. And let's write hey now and check this out. So whenever I refresh this, we can actually test these right now. If I click edit, we get our alert popping up. Whenever I click remove, we get our another alert popping up. So we know that our event handlers, they are working properly. But again, like I said, one thing I wanna do from here is instead of just having the static text, just like this, I actually wanna take whatever text is in between these comment tags and I wanna display that for the comment. So let me just write uh, something like, I'll just write, uh, hey, my name is Bucky for one comment. And then for another one, I'll write uh, beans, something stupid. And then for another one, I'll write tuna. Just so we have three different comments. So right now, whenever I refresh this and take a look at my application, all of these comments are the same because we just said display text. We didn't say do anything with this. So how do we access the data in between these tags so we can actually use it in our component? Well, this is actually a built-in property called children. So again, the children property is just any data that's in between the opening tag and closing tag. So remember that I said in like two tutorials ago, whenever you wanna use properties, you just use this props and then the name of the property. And this one is just children. So whenever I refresh this, check it out. It gets whatever is in between these tags, which are the children, which is a static text in this example. And for each component render, it displays it in between this div tag. So I know I threw a lot at you guys, but again, what we covered in this video is first of all, event handling. Now event handling, I can't even talk right now, is how you can pretty much make custom functions in your component and you can call those with on click and there are other event handlers as well, but on click is the most famous one. And also whenever you wanna pass data in between these tags, you can access it through the children property. So pretty cool, eh? And yeah, I think that's it. That's enough info for this lesson. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.